This is part three, the second set of tools that we need to address and see if we can find a cure. I'm not saying there's a cure, but there was. Let's find out what it might look like. There was a man named John Bradshaw in the late 80s, and he came up with, he really he proposed, it was a proponent of inner child therapy. And it was wildly popular. He actually got on stage in the early 90s on PBS and, and broke his anonymity in a dozen different shows talking about this particular, his alcoholism and his sex addiction and therapy and everything in the world. And a whole generation of people learned about something different. And he brought us a tool that was incredibly useful that we did not have in Alcoholics Anonymous. Alcoholics Anonymous believes that, that people are selfish. And so what they do, because of their selfishness, uh, they, they drink because they hate themselves because of their selfishness. And so to, to combat that, you do unselfish service for others. And that's the way A does say. But this guy had a little bit different idea. He said, if you don't deal with the inner child stuff, what you do is just move from addiction to addiction to addiction. And he's absolutely right. And that's what happened in the 80s is people stopped alcohol and then they went to food. Stopped food and then went to debting. Stopped work debting and went to workaholism and, and just on and on and on. But he proposed an idea that would help another tool. So if there were a cure, and I'm not saying there is, but if it were, it might involve this. And the, the theory is very out of style now, but it's still the best intra, not inter, but intra personal model. The intra personal model goes like this. There's a child side of me, so it's say five years old. And what that really is, is when I was five, all the different impressions and thoughts and feelings and experiences got recorded inside me. Then there's a part of me that in teenage years, an adolescent part, maybe say 17, that just all those things, you know, when you start to come alive sexually, you start dating and you, you're finishing high school and you're going out to work for the first time and, and you get in fist fights and, and, and drive cars and all the rest of that. And all those impressions are left. And then there's the adult, the person who right now pays the bills and makes sure that the lights go on and that the beds get made and the dishes get washed and the food gets made. The adult, and with those three parts, the child, adolescent, and adult, those three things, if they can converse, you have an interior world. Now that's something AA did not know about. And so he brought that to us. He said, if you don't become comfortable with yourself, you just move from one addiction to the next. So the second tool, if there were a cure, and I'm not saying there is, is to have a model to, uh, of self-love, of self-knowing, so that you're comfortable with yourself. Beyond the unselfish service that you do in 12-step, there's another tool here, uh, uh, another more advanced tool that was laid down because of the previous tools. These aren't bad tools. These are just the next stage of development. So the interior world. It doesn't have to be inner child, but it's got to be a relationship with yourself that you can love and nurture and be with and comfort and talk to and console and laugh and encourage and give, uh, give faith to. You've got to have a, a self-love that it's very cutely developed or you just move from one thing to another. So that's the second tool, if there were a cure. I ain't saying there is, but there were.